Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Lauren Ham. We live in Eagle River, Alaska, and we are This Alaska Life. We share our Alaskan adventures and daily life with you here on the vlog. And we just got back from a week-long trip to our cabin in Soldovia. I will link that video above if you want to see our adventures there, but we slept in our own beds, we took showers, we feel like like clean humans again <laughs> and so now it is time if you can hear the boys are mowing the lawn today because every time we come back from a trip it seems like it's time to mow the lawn again and I am going to be working with the baby chicks my dad and my good friend Andrea took care of them while we were gone for the last two weeks we were here on and off but not for very long so they took care of them in the garden and so now I am going to be moving them out to the chicken coop Oop, mosquitoes um, because it is they are getting big and they are getting kind of stinky and dirty in the garage so it is time to move them out to the chicken coop and I will show you how big they've gotten they're so big they're in that like awkward teenager stage all right I'm in the coop I decided not to paint it because it's just gonna get dirty and gross again but it is definitely cleaner and ready for these baby chicks to come and hang out in here. Right, we're gonna go get some baby chicks. Oh, I hear one coming right now. I'm trying to hit you. Hello, Fluffy. All right guys, it is time to deal with our morel mushrooms. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to wash them, slice them, and then dehydrate them. That way that they will stay good for a long time and then when we want to use them, you just soak them in water and reconstitute them. I've watched some YouTube videos and I'm ready to tackle this project. All right, first thing that I needed to do was put them in a big bowl and wash them off. Now, these mushrooms were really dirty because we didn't do a good job of cutting off the bottoms when we were out in the forest. So they actually needed a second washing because the water was so dirty. So we did give them a second wash. Then I cut them in half. And this took a while to get all 88 mushrooms cut in half and cut the stalks off the bottom. There was even this really cool double one and we had a triple one even. But after they were all cut in half, it was time to give them one more rinse in some water so that they would be nice and clean. All right, next up is getting these mushrooms into the dehydrator. This is our Cabela's dehydrator. We love it for making moose jerky, for dehydrating fruits and making fruit leather. It's been awesome. So I put them on the trays nice and flat 
face side down and got them ready to put into the dehydrator. That's amazing, Mom. What's amazing? The, the fish. You turn it up. The water's gonna be sucked out of them? Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> hey, I'm taking care of our, mar our, our mushrooms. Stop. We're gonna dehydrate them. And the water stuck out of them. So I had six trays of mushrooms to put into the dehydrator and the book that comes along with the dehydrator said that mushrooms should be done for 12 hours at 125 degrees. Since I was starting them at six at night, they would need to go until six in the morning. So tonight for dinner, we are having spaghetti with meat sauce and we are using our moose meat. Some of them we label this Italian moose. What Mark does is he goes to the butcher shop and he gets the seasoning packet for Italian sausage so that it's a good mixture of spices and then we mix it up and we mix a bunch of packages up so that whenever we're doing anything that needs like Italian spiced meat or sausage we just swap out the Italian mousse and it has been awesome to just have and grab out so we're going to be making spaghetti with that. go with our dinner, Hunter is making our favorite lemon water punch. I will put the link to the recipe down below, but he is also adding some fresh mint from our herb garden out on the deck. It is a simple recipe, it is a light, refreshing drink, and it is a crowd pleaser for everyone during the summer. So we are going to take the mushroom, like the butts of the mushroom and the water and go pour it outside. And maybe next year we'll get some mushrooms. Fingers crossed, it would be fun to grow some in our own yard. Careful there, that's kind of fun. I wish I knew this right spot. It's all wet and moist in here. That's good. Okay. Stump it. Right here, these are spruce trees. Yeah, right in here. Put some in here. A little bit right over here. Hopefully, we get some next year or whenever. Doing? Oh, you have a ticket? What's 
Zama's name? Um, I think it's called uh, Eagle. No, no, no. 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 This ramp was awesome until the person that delivers our newspaper ran over it. Now <laughs> it's falling apart. Oh, the boys really want to build something new, but we haven't gotten to that point yet. Are about to check the dehydrator those mushrooms went for probably 13 hours and they are done and we're gonna pull them out and put them in a jar but first I got to get that little guy his oatmeal Time to get the mushrooms out, and then we're gonna actually be making some sourdough crepes for the other boys and the cousins. Oh wow, they have lost so much size because they lost all the water, and they are just super dry, but that's exactly what you want. At least from the video, that's what they said you want, and then you just get them wet to reconstitute them. This jar is probably way too big for, <laughs> they're small now. So I was making sure that I pulled out all the trays in the dehydrator and I found this. I made these probably like two months ago. They've been sitting in the dehydrator and then they just dehydrated again all night. Not sure they're good anymore. <laughs> That is what it's like being a mom of four boys. You get distracted and you forget to even pull out things out of the dehydrator. Oops. I don't know. But this, that's what we got from those 88 mushrooms. Half of a half of a gallon, but I think they're gonna be really good. They're beautiful. We'll cook some up and show you sometime. Here is my bubbly starter after the night. It's nice and fed and beautiful. It used all that flour to feed and now we are going to turn it into crepes and they are so yummy and I will put the link below to the recipe. It's not my recipe but it is amazing for sourdough crepes. So I'm going to put the link below for you and check it out. Whoa. That's amazing. That's big and giant. Yeah.
time to clean up this mess of a kitchen while I finish making crepes. I always, I'm such a messy cook, baker, everything. clean up. The only way it's gonna stay that way is if we leave the house. So we are going to the skate park. The boys are gonna get their energy out because then I have to come home and settle in for a long session of laundry folding. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and give us a comment down below. Tell us where you're watching from and if you've ever been to Alaska. We will see you again soon on this Alaska Life.